Opening face, of what? My third eye. Opening of your third eye? Yes. Plaintiff Glenice Duncan claims her son clogged up her third eye by bringing meat products into her home. She's suing for $3,000 for unpaid rent and a personal loan. Defendant Jamel Ryan claims his mom is flat out lying. He says he owes her nothing. Can the witness please approach the stand? Please raise your right hand. Do you swear the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, sir. Yes. yes. Thank you. Good morning, Your Honor. Morning, Najee. How are you? I'm doing well, Judge. Thank you. Good. This is case number 070 on the docket. Duncan versus Ryan. Thank you very much. You're and welcome, Judge. Let me see what we have here. We have the plaintiff, Glenice Duncan. Yes. Uh, Glenice, you are suing, your, oh, you're suing your son, Jamel Ryan, yes. for $3,000 for unpaid rent and a personal loan. So let's start with you, Glenice. What is your case? Back in March of 2019, uh, my son and his girlfriend came to stay with me. Oh, well, it started with, it was on her birthday, and they was over visiting one evening, and that evening turned into months. How many months are we talking? At least two. We had an agreement that he would pay, or they would help out around the house, pay rent also, and none of that happened. They left mess. How much rent w did you ask them to pay? It was a verbal agreement to pay $250 a month for a three-month period, actually. My son and I, uh, pr prior to that, is back in 2015, uh, we would trade money back and forth all the time, and you know it was not a problem. And then, uh, uh, 2017, I, July 13th, my birthday, I decided to go vegan, and also uh, with that came uh, opening of my third eye, and uh, it allowed me to see that opening things, of what? My third eye. Opening of your third eye? Yes. Where exactly is it? It's right here, my forehead. You can see it if you look close. I know. It could be the camera. I'm having trouble. Okay. Uh, yes, but yeah. it's just an insight. It's uh, just an insight. Oh, I see what I'm you mean. I'm able yeah. to okay. see things a little differently than I were prior. Yeah. So what are you suing for, though? Now? I'm suing for unpaid rent when they were staying with me on two several occasions. Both the, uh, the defendant and his girlfriend stayed with me in my apartment. And okay. they had promised to pay, and they didn't. And plus, uh, is a un... I loaned him $500 uh, on a, a car, on a Mercedes that he wanted to purchase, and he came up short $500, and I advanced him that money. What about that? She's making that up? Yes. No, she must have that misconstrued oh. with this last time that we had tried to stay with her, and she kicked us out within the first three days. Right now, I'm talking about this this three-month period back in, when was it, 2019? That was with my well, fiancé's mother. We stayed with her for a couple of months, and my fiancé's mom, she could attest to that. We didn't stay with her. We stayed with her approximately one night on my girlfriend's birthday. You state very clearly here, in 2019, you lived with your mom for a couple of months. I stayed with my fiancé's mother for approximately about two and a half months around 2019. That was the only time that we were transitioning from apartments. Your mom, in her complaint, said, in March 2019, he came to visit me and celebrate his girlfriend's birthday. They both stayed in my one-bedroom apartment for three months. But you then say, in 2019, you're agreeing with your mom. In 2019, I did emphasize, I did live with her for a couple of months. My fiance right here, her birthday is in June. So what does she mean, my mother, that we moved in oh. in March? That's, that's, that's impossible. Fair. You said in March 2019, he came to visit me and celebrate his girlfriend, Nayella Ayala's birthday. Yes. His, yes. Her birthday is not in March. It was June okay. 19th then. Yeah. Here's what I don't understand. Me. You're telling me a mother and son can't agree on one saying it was three days and the other saying it was several months? You both know that one of you is not telling the truth. You go on to say that the reason you don't think you have to pay for those months is because you put up security for a loan so she could have that apartment 
and you put up your car as security and you lost the car because mom didn't make the payments. Why yes. would you tell me that whole story if you didn't stay there for those months? What's the point of telling me that? No, that's, that's the part is true, but the main part of we well, staying with her- Well, wait a second. Her, You're saying you don't have to pay the rent for those months that you admitted no, you no, stayed there no. because of the car. No, I wasn't trying Why to- Why would you even raise the issue then? No, I wasn't trying to converge those two uh, scenarios. That scenario with me staying with her, that was way before the car. But she's still trying to drag it off as if I still owe her. But you put it in the next sentence. In 2019, I did live with, uh, with her for a couple of months. However, the agreement was that we were even. In other words, you didn't have to pay the 250 because I took out a high interest title loan for her to get an apartment. This whole thing is wrong. No, it was never her, you my did, mother. You did it not was stay. My mother. Okay, mom, you're saying your son is absolutely lying that he really did live in he your did. place for three months. Yes, he did. The second time when you guys stayed there or asked to stay there, I understand that only went for three days. Yes, sir. And we saw, we have a video of this, don't we? All right, we are present today here joining this meeting. Okay. Yes. And uh, the time is? 9.22 On July, July 16, 16, 2020. 2020. All right. Now we got the time and date out the way. Right. We are here to discuss conditions. Right. And that everything will be copacetic and there will be no meat in this house. There will be no um, anger. There will be no uh, slight talking. There will be no miscommunication. We will be front what we want and we will be assertive and polite with each other, respectable. Respect. Okay. Very it respectable. Is. It is. And we'll have no confrontations, no conflicts. And clean up after ourselves. And we'll clean up after ourselves. And we'll get the money to her. We'll get a couple hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, for at least two or three weeks. Did you guys stay for any period of time in 2019 at your future mother-in-law's house? 2019, no, not last year. No. You're saying she's lying. Yes. Because it's not a mistake. The video that we just saw had to do with what would be $200 a week, yes. two yes. or th two weeks um, this year. Yes. And, yes. You're, and you left after a day, maybe two days, but you didn't even stay a week. But let me ask you this, Jamal. Your mom loaned you $500 <laughs> at some point so that you could no. buy that car. That is a that lie. That didn't happen. That She's is lying happening. about that, too. Yes, Your what Honor. What you're basically saying that your mom came to court uh -huh. under oath and totally, totally fabricated this story. She knew I had $3,000. So I said that $3,000, me and her, we went to an uh, auto auction, and I saw that Mercedes. I bid it, started off at $100. I went all the way up to $1,950. I won at 1950 plus taxes, it came out to $2,200. My mom was right there. I put it in her name because my license was suspended at the time. She fell on hard times needing money because she was getting evicted from her place. That's objective okay? that I never She been was getting evicted from her place. So I put <laughs> up the car, which was my car, but it was in her name. We had a title loan on it for $1,500. Yeah. I gave her majority all the yeah. money. I kept $200 right. out of that 1500 When a plaintiff brings a suit, the burden is on the plaintiff to bring evidence of the charges. I don't have any specific evidence because there were no written documents. The only evidence I had was the video, which would have stood as a contract, but you both agree that after a day or two he was gone, so he wasn't there for a week anyway. Clearly, the mom hasn't carried the burden of the preponderance of the evidence. Only on that, suit dismissed. Thank you, Honor. Thank you. This is what I have to deal with since a very young age. It's all about money with her, and I'm glad Judge Jerry finally has seen the truth. I feel the verdict wasn't fair. Um, my son knows he owes me. He knows they stayed with me. 